Welcome back to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Jen and I'm a licensed esthetician for over 10 years now in the state of California. And my channel is all about clean, green, non-toxic, cruelty-free beauty. And I also give you tips on aging gracefully and I love devices, okay? <laughs> so that is a little bit about my channel. So. In today's video, I have for you guys my empties for the month of July and August, and I have some favorites for the month of July and um, August too. I'm doing this early because I don't see me getting any more favorites when the month is ending next week, and I'm not going to be able to get a video out um, next week. I might, um, but if I do get a video out, it's probably going to be starting on my Aging Gracefully Non-Invasively series. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into my empties, shall we? And then we'll go over my favorites for the month. Okay, so for my first empty, it is this Vita Liberata Phenomenal um, Self-Tanning Mousse. Now, I picked this up from QVC. It came with a mitt, which um, I have uh, actually in the laundry because I'm gonna wash it. So this is a two to three week uh, tanning mousse. It says it's supposed to last for two to three weeks. Um, it's in the shade medium and it is all natural. And I think most of the ingredients are organic. So I like this, but I don't like it. I love that the ingredients are natural and it doesn't have any of the nasties in it. But what I don't like about it is it does not last two to three weeks. And in order for you to get a nice color, well, for me to get a nice color, I have to apply it three days in a row. And I do not like that. I just want to apply something once and that's it. And um, this didn't do it for me. So I am going to get rid of it. I had to use a lot of this too in order to get the color I wanted. And when I did try it for three days in a, in a row, it, I still didn't get the color I wanted. It was still a little bit too light. So this just, just didn't work out for me. It was $60 on qvc.com. I wouldn't repurchase it. And like I said, I like that it's natural. And what I'm finding with a lot of the like natural organic self tanners is that they don't give me the color that I want. They're expensive and they usually come in a four ounce container. My favorite, self-tanner of all time is Saint Tropez that gives me the perfect color. I only have to apply it once a week. I don't have to apply it three days in a row <laughs> and it's it's affordable, okay? It's affordable. So something like on body products, I'm not so keen about spending a lot of money just because it's, it's such a large area to cover and you're going to use it a lot. You're going to use a lot of it, okay? So definitely will not be a repurchase for me. I have another body product here, which is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Illuminating Body Wash. This is my favorite body wash of all time, guys. I went back to this. I love this because this I can use as a shave gel. It's moisturizing, it's hydrating, it keeps my skin soft, it smells so good. It smells tropical. It's sort of like a light coconut and hibiscus scent, but it's really, really lovely. It's like $8.99 for this bottle at Target and it lasts me for a long time. So yes, I love this body wash. It's my favorite. <laughs> and it, it was a repurchase by the way. Okay, so I have two more body products here and these were in my empties from last month. So I went through two of these this month. This is the Honey Pot feminine wash in the sensitive formula. Guys, I really, really like this. Um, it's very lovely for your delicates. <laughs> um, the only thing is it is a little bit expensive. It's $9.99 at Target, but it's $7.99 on uh, Amazon. So it comes in several different formulas. I really like this a lot. Um, now, do you need a special wash for your delicates? No, but if you're sensitive like me, you do. So. I've always used a special wash for my delicates and um, this by far is my favorite. I would like to try the Lady Sweet one that they just came out with, but it's $16.99 for I think like four ounces. And I just think that's like way too much money for, you know, a feminine wash. If it was more in the range of like, you know, like the $10, I would give it a shot like these. This lasts me, these, this one of these lasts me about a month and I really like it, and it was a repurchase. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah, and you can get it at Target, too. All right, so let's go over. I have some dental products here. Okay, um, so one dental product that I, I forgot I left in the actual bathroom is uh, the Cocoa Floss. So my dentist gave me a Cocoa Floss to try. They gave me two samples, and I finished one of them. And I did not like the Cocoa Floss. Um, I like this Hello Floss a lot better. This is an activated charcoal floss. It's black. I did repurchase this. Um, it's very, very nice. It keeps my teeth really clean. It gets everything out in between. It, guys, I had my um, six, six month um, cleaning and prior to that, I was using these for like almost six months and it was by far my best cleaning I have ever had. Um, hardly any tartar buildup whatsoever. I mean, it was the best cleaning I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> That's how good these worked. Now, um, the toothpaste that I have here is the anti-plaque and whitening. This is a fluoride free toothpaste and it's a natural peppermint. They do have this in charcoal. Now I was talking to my dentist about charcoal, um, toothpaste and, and, um, dental care and they, they advise that you don't use it all the time because it is pretty aggressive on your teeth and it can take off your enamel. And that's what they told me that they've been having a lot of people who've been coming in, who've been using a lot of charcoal um, dental care and their enamel, they're having issues with their enamel. So just be careful of that. Um, I don't use the charcoal toothpaste. This one works really um, well for me. And if you're trying to whiten your teeth and say you're using the charcoal, but they're not looking white, it's because your dentin actually is what needs to be whitened. And the dentin is actually on the inside of the, the tooth. And the only way that you can get that to whiten is with some sort of bleaching product. So I know Dr. Bright has those bleaching pens that you can get that are all natural. So try using that on your teeth to see if it helps with whitening. But this keeps my teeth um, really nice and white, as you can see. They look lovely and I drink coffee and I drink tea. <laughs> but really, really lovely. And then I wanted to show you, they came out with a mouthwash and I picked it up and I love this mouthwash. It is so good. Um, this is a favorite too, by the way. Um, <clears throat> they have a charcoal one too, which I think that would be fine in a mouthwash because it's not like you're brushing it in on your teeth. So it's more like you're swishing it around. So that would be fine. But any anything that you're brushing onto your teeth, that is like aggressive or gritty, just be careful with that because you know, you can't repair your tooth enamel. So there you go. But this dent this mouthwash is really, really refreshing. It's very, very minty. I believe it's, it's got menthol in it. Yes, it's got menthol, purified water, vegetable glycerin, polysorbate 80, um, xylitol and sodium benzenite and tea tree oil love this stuff keeps my breath really nice and fresh helps cleanse out the mouth so 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 good okay so that's enough on that one so i do have a supplement here i would have another one of these but i accidentally you know recycled it already but this is the vital proteins collagen beauty greens i have been taking these like every day for the last six months and you guys haven't seen them in my empties because the reason is because it's a repeated empty and I didn't want you guys to, to get bored about my supplements because everything is pretty much still the same as what I was taking before so I just thought I would pop this in here since you haven't seen it for a while but this I love this um, it keeps my skin nice and glowing I love the collagen it's got really nice greens in it it's also got hyaluronic acid in it so very very lovely I take this as a nice smoothie. All right, so I have a an Intellinus. Uh, these are the facial smoothing petals. You put these over in the areas where you have um, concerns about your fine lines and wrinkles, and you wanna keep them from um, creasing. So you use these at night when you sleep. You can use them during the day too if you're sitting at home and not doing anything. But what I do is at night, I put them right here in this area because I have a crease from looking down, um, you know, on my phone or when I sleep, I kind of sleep like this and then I get creased right here and it's happening on both sides. So these are really lovely. I did finish another pack of these and I have another one that I'm probably going to finish in the next um, two weeks as well. And these are definitely going to be a repurchase. It's $19.95 for 102 petals. And they're shaped exactly like how it is right here on 
the um, package and they're very, very lovely. You can cut them to, you know, make them fit in the areas that you want them to fit. Um, just a very lovely, lovely product. They're very comfortable to wear as well. Okay, so I have a sheet mask here. This is the Air Wrapping Age Defying Acai um, Whole Food Sheet Mask. This I would say was was okay. I like that it was cut in half because um, I used it with my um, MyoLift Mini uh, microcurrent um, eye and lip mask attachments. Now the ingredients in here are not bad at all. They're actually pretty good. Um, and I think I paid like $2.99 for this at Whole Foods. It was on sale, so pretty good. I would, I would actually repurchase this again, but my favorite sheet mask to use, if you're wondering, with the MyoLift um, is the Orgade sheet mask because they don't have any oils in them and they work really well with the, with the MyoLift Mini. Okay, so next I have some Hanua skincare empties here. I know you guys haven't seen Hanua for a while. So I have the Pot Akai cleanser. This, you know, is one of my favorite cleansers of all time. There's still some in here that I'm going to scrape out, but I love Pot Akai. Um, this is what I reach for when my skin is irritated or when I just need some of that, you know, good Hawaiian salt healing for my skin. Um, I love to use Pot Akai in the morning. I love to use it at night, but this would, this is generally usually my morning cleanser. Um, especially uh, when my skin is irritated. So you guys know my love for Hanua skincare and this will always be in my arsenal. So this is a, a repurchase for sure. And then I have um, Moana, the Ocean Lovers Mask. I finish up this jar and I do have a backup. I love this mask. It's very hydrating and detoxifying. It helps soothe my, soothes my skin and it gives me a nice gentle detoxification. Um, this is great for the summertime, especially if you've been out in the sun and your skin is dehydrated. It's good for the, in the winter time when your skin is dehydrated. Anytime you want some hydration, this is great. And it does have some clays in it, so you get a mild detoxification. And also I believe there's seaweed in here too. So love this. It has a very lovely um, citrus, refreshing citrus scent to it. Such a beautiful mask. Okay, so I have a Fit Glow product in here. So this is the Vita Active Serum from the Detox Market Box. So, um, so I tried this, and guys, I can't use this serum. It really dries out my skin. It's the 20% vitamin C uh, in here, and anything like with the 25% vitamin C, I think, what do they use for their vitamin C in here? Let's see, sodium asorbyl phosphate is what they use. And I know it's 20% and it's just it just dries out my skin. And plus, like even though I didn't use very much, it looks like it oxidized in the container. So I'm gonna put this in the giveaway box and I'm gonna give it to someone who might wanna try it, although I think it is oxidized. So we'll see about that. Okay, so this is the Fit Glow vegan good lash plus mascara guys this is still my holy grail mascara i love this this one um is the new formula this tube i did not have any issues with it flaking didn't have any issues with it building or um smudging so i loved it and it's so weird because this is the same batch number as the one that i had that i was having issues with so that one must have been bad but um, I love this. This lasted me for 12 weeks, guys. I got everything out of this I could, and I still probably could, you know, use it a little bit more. But yeah, it's time for it to go. <laughs> so I am wearing a new mascara today, and the mascara is by Well People. It's their new one. It's called Expressionist Volumizing Mascara XL Lashes. I got this at Target, and I've worn it for the last couple days, and First impressions is, is I don't like it. <laughs> and the reason for that is it's not giving me the volume that I'm looking for. I like I like a lot of volume, guys. Um, I love how the Fit Glow Good Lash Plus Mascara makes my eyes look. It does make them look, you know, like I'm wearing falsies and I don't care because that's how I like my lashes to look. Um, that's my thing. <laughs> And the Well People isn't doing that for me. It does leave the lashes really nice and soft. It doesn't build for me yet. But one of the major things I do not like about it, which you could see right here, is when you get it 
on an area, it's very hard to clean off. So this is definitely a mascara that you would want to apply before you put on your eye makeup. And um, I put it on this morning and I made the mistake of putting it on after I did my eyeshadow and I got it right up in here and I tried to get it off without really messing up my eyeshadow and it, it's actually my eyeshadow looks a little bit different on this eye. And then I smudged it underneath here and um, I was having a hard time getting it off so it's a little bit smudged right there. But yeah, I'm looking for something with more volume, that's for sure. And I have a hard time finding it in Green Beauty because everything is either defining or lengthening. And even though it says it gives you volume, it doesn't give you volume. The only one that gives me my perfect lashes, even out of conventional mascaras, is the Fit Glow Vegan Good Lash Plus Mascara. This, I would say, is worth every single penny. I love this mascara so much. And I do have a backup tube of this. Um, but I am going to continue to use this um, for the next couple weeks. And I will give you guys my final thoughts on this to see because even though I've only used it for two days, maybe once it dries a little bit, it'll give me a little bit more volume. I like to judge mascara in between like one or two weeks, um, but usually when I first try it, I can tell whether I'm going to like it or not, but the real test will be like in one or two weeks. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And I'm just going to show you the brush really quick. So here we go. And maybe what I'll do is in a couple weeks I'll do a comparison of this and the Fit Glow but it's like that hourglass shape um, brush. Now I can compare this to the Lily Lolo volumizing mascara and I liked the Lily Lolo, Lily Lolo one better than this one even though I couldn't use it but it did give me some really nice volume um, more so than what this one is doing but like I said it's too early to tell. Um, so I'll let you guys know soon. <laughs> okay, so that, oh, I have a, three more empties here and they're all from Natural Logic. So my first one is um, a Flourish Cleanser. You guys know I love this cleanser. So this is my morning cleanser, guys. I use this every morning. It's either that or pot -Akai. And I just love using this in the morning. The scent is just so beautiful. Like. My friend Ruta says it smells like a um, lemon sugar cookie and it's so refreshing and energizing first thing in the morning and it just gives me the perfect morning cleanse and gives my skin that perfect canvas for makeup application. So love Flourish. Um, I have Soul Milk Soothing Moisture Mask. Now I love this mask. Um, I use this all year round. This really helps my skin with um, hydration and moisture. As you guys know, I have, I have mature skin and my skin is dehydrated, so this really helps. I like to use this after a dermaplaning session. I have two, well, there's three masks that I, I, I like to use depending on what my skin is, is like after I dermaplane. So I use the Moana Ocean Lovers Mask from Hanua Skin Care. I'll use either um, Soul Milk, from Natural Logic, and then I'll also use um, sometimes I'll use Unmasked too because it's very hydrating. Because dermaplaning, it is not only removing your peach fuzz, but it is a deep exfoliation. And if you have dehydrated skin, it can make your skin a bit more dehydrated from that exfoliation. So I like to put on a hydrating mask after, and those are the three that work for me. So next I have from Natural Logic is the Ancient Earth Micro Exfoliate. I love this exfoliant. Now this is only I only have one more use of this um, in here, and that's why I'm including it. I do have a backup actually of all of these, by the way, and um, I love this because it gives me the perfect exfoliation without being aggressive and. I have um, sensitive rosacea skin and I do have broken capillaries like right here in my cheeks. And I have to be really careful of the types of exfoliation that I use because anything that is really aggressive can cause my skin, can cause more distended capillaries from just even lightly scrubbing it because it, distended capillaries are a sign that your skin is thinning in that area. What causes it? Aggressive scrubbing, um, sun, um, heat, that sort of, those sort of things can do it. Um, actually, over exfoliation can cause distended capillaries. Um, 
being too aggressive with um, picking at your skin or doing extractions, those can cause distended capillaries. And guess what? When distended capillaries are there, they will never go away. They're always there, guys. One of the main places that everyone gets them is around their nose. And the reason for that is uh, because like maybe when you're blowing your nose, when you have a cold or something, you rub it really hard, you do that. Um, also the pore strips, those Biore pore strips, or there's new ones on the market now in the clean um, beauty realm, um, those are not good for your skin, guys. They can cause distended capillaries and it's not, they're just not good for your pores. And um, I'll have to get into that a little bit more, but yeah, I would stay away from those pore strips. That's my advice, but I will get into that a little bit more of why they're not good for your pores. All right, so I love this. Um, and the reason why I use a physical exfoliant um, on my skin is because since I do dermaplane my skin, I actually need something that is a manual exfoliant to help with ingrown hairs because from time to time you can get an ingrown hair. But if you keep up with your exfoliation, you should be good with that. And a mild, gentle exfoliation like the Ancient Earth Micro Exfoliant from Natural Logic is just perfect. Um, this does have enzymes in it too, which is nice. So you're getting a physical and a chemical exfoliation, which I love. And it has that sort of like almost the same scent as um, the Flourish Cleanser. It's kind of got a little bit of a um, lemon sugar cookie scent to it, but I love, 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 love this. Okay, so now let's get on to my favorites. As you know, that I already had one favorite here, which is the Hello brand um, mouthwash, and this is the Naturally Fresh Antiseptic Mouthwash. Lovely, lovely mouthwash here. My next favorite is going to be some skincare, guys, and my review is going to be coming on these soon. So these are my only skincare favorites for the month of August because everything else was the same from last month. So I have the Boost. This is the Peptide Activating Mist from Osmosis Beauty. I have Calm, which is their gentle retinal serum from the MD line, and I have Catalyst AC11, which is their DNA repair serum, guys. These are uh, amazing. I love them. I love what they're doing for my skin. Like I said, it was like instant results when I started using them. My skin is firmer. Um, it's clearer. I'm not getting any rosacea breakouts. It's less. It's I'm not even getting red as what I used to. Uh, it's just really, really amazing. Now the mousse, the the mousse, the mousse, the mist is very hydrating. And what I use this for is to um, help with uh, the penetration of the products because they are orange in color. You, they need to be really massaged well into the skin, and also it helps them get further into the dermis and get activated. So that's what I use this for. Um, very lovely mist. It does have a, a nice little pleasant scent. It kind of smells like citrus to me, like maybe a little bit of bergamot in there, but it has a really nice firm mist and it's good all the time, okay? Now, um, Calm, this is the Gentle Retinol Serum. This is a vitamin A serum. This is their level one, and I think it, it's either point, I think it's point zero two five. I still, you know, haven't looked that up. I'm so sorry, but like I said, when I do my review, I will look it up. So I really, really like this and I'm seeing a difference in my skin. It's helping with my fine lines. It's helping with my wrinkles. It's helping with my pores. Um, but I will tell you, I think I'm ready for the next level. So I'm going to repurchase um, the level two uh, vitamin A serum when this is at, out. And this is almost actually done. I think it's like right here. So I, I have like maybe another week or two left of this. So the Correct, I believe, is 0.03% of retinaldehyde, and um, so it's a little bit stronger, so we'll see how my skin reacts, but I love this. I haven't had any reactions. I use this morning and night, and that's the thing with the osmosis vitamin A serums. You can use them during the day, and, you, and it's okay as long as you wear your SPF. They do not make you photosensitive or sensitive to the sun. 
um, like most retinols do. And this is like one of the only retinols or actually I shouldn't say retinol, but vitamin A products that I would recommend that you can use during the day. You can use the natural forms of vitamin A, like what is it? Bucatrol. You could use that. Um, I know that a lot of the serums that have bucatrol in it, um, which is a plant form of vitamin A, you can use during the day, but you know, use it as your discretion. Um, also, you know, be smart about it. Don't go in the sun without your SPF because even though it says you can use it during the day, you're still using a vitamin A, which can cause you to burn. So always wear sunblock on your skin or sun protection when you're using a vitamin A serum. So love this. And Catalyst AC11. Oh my God, this serum is amazing, guys. So I had a skin tag underneath my arm and I would have taken a before and after picture, but you know, it's under my arm and I don't think you guys want to look at pictures of my pits, right? <laughs> um, so I had a skin tag and not only has this done wonders for my skin and it does help, you know, firm and tighten and protect, but it does reverse um, your damaged DNA in your skin. It helps reverse um, sun damage um, and it helps with skin tags. So I had a skin tag underneath my arm. So what I would do is every night before I go to bed is I would put a little bit of catalyst on a Band-Aid and I would put it over that skin tag. And guess what guys, it was gone in three weeks, just like that, okay? So amazing product, helps get rid of skin tags. It's great for hyperpigmentation, texture, um, fine lines and wrinkles, um, skin protection. It also helps um, with your pores and that's the same thing as what um, Calm does it helps with your pores too, texture, anything that a vitamin A is supposed to do, that's what Calm does. And all of the love, uh, all the levels of the Osmosis Vitamin A Serum. So love, love, love. I'm so glad that I picked those up. And um, Osmosis is going to be here to stay in my collection. I love it that much. And like I said, I will be doing a re full review. I'll get into the ingredients and more into these um a little bit further but i also wanted to let you know that you can purchase osmosis md through a professional um, who sells it and there's a couple of online websites that you can purchase it from so there you go on that one okay so my other favorite for the month is this expressionist brow gel from well people i got the shade of blonde guys i love this brow gel it's so good and i figured um will close out with me demoing it compared to the 100% pure, okay? So I'm gonna put the 100% pure on this brow right here. And this is my uh, right brow, and then here is my left brow. Okay, so in the 100% pure, I have a soft brown, and this is their green tea fiber builder, okay? So the reason why I love the Well People one is because it's very, it's like the perfect color and it leaves my brows so nice and soft. And it's only $17.99, guys. The 100% Pure one is good, but I find that the color is a little bit dark. And it doesn't like, it it doesn't really build my brows like how I want it to, and it kind of leaves them a little bit stiff. The color does stay all day long, but it doesn't really like, it just makes them kind of stiff. Okay, so here is the Well People, and this is the shade Blonde, and we're gonna put it here on my left side. And you'll see what I mean, like this is like the perfect color for me. They comes in three colors, blonde, brown, and I believe like, I think it's black. But I picked this up at Target and it was only $17.99. So, you know, I like that a lot better than $26.99. I don't understand why bra products are so expensive because the tube is so tiny. So, Look at how tiny the tube is, $26.99. This one is $17.99. Okay, so let's look at the brush. Okay, so this is the 100% pure side and this color is soft brown. 
So it does a pretty good job. Um, I noticed that the Will People one fills in my gaps a little bit better than the 100% Pure. You can still see some of my gaps in the side. Okay, and then here is the Will People in blonde. And then here is the brush. So here is the 100% Pure. And here is the Will People. So the the brushes are similar. Um, the Will People is a little bit bigger and um, has more br bristles on it. So that's what that looks like. So, and then this is my Will People side. So I really like the Will People side better than the 100% Pure one, but you can't really, can you tell the difference in the color? So I usually put a little bit more of the 100% Pure on. So let me fix this gap right here. I really like the Will People Brow Gel. It leaves my brows nice and soft. It does hold them, but it almost feels like it's giving them a really nice conditioning treatment too, as well as versus the 100% Pure one feels kind of stiff. So, so what do you guys think? Looks pretty good, right? That is it for this week's video. I hope you loved my favorites and my empties. And I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful weekend and I love you. Mm -hmm.